six, nine, Hello there YouTube, today we have another video about the Ender 3 S1 combined with the Creality Sonic Pad and today we're going to test the maximum speeds that this combination can actually make come true. So, at the moment it's printing the first layer. Let me try to zoom in a bit. So it's now printing the first layer and we're going to bump it up until the maximum speed before it starts skipping the filament so i'm also very excited about this this is the first time i'm trying this out so i think it is now on the second layer yes it is so once it gets to the third or the fourth layer i'm going to bump it up to the maximum speed but also i need to increase the temperature from 205 until let me just check this temp uh, this filament that i'm using can bump up to 225 uh, degrees celsius so i'll just to be safe i'll go to 220 and then bump it up to very high speeds and then check what the speeds actually bring uh, with the creality sonic pad the clipper system in it so it's pretty straightforward so first let me bump up this the temperature i'm going to 220 all right success now i'm going back so once this part cooling ventilation uh, well um, is starting to work i'm going to bump it up Yeah, now the Noctua fans has kicked in, so let us go to the maximum speeds. So let's try 200 straight away, 200%, which would be 120 millimeter per second. Now we're printing at 200%, which is 120 millimeter per second, as I said. So this seems to be fine. So I'm going up to 250%. Actually, 255%. Still looks fine, so I'm gonna bump it up to 275. Still going well. So now let's bump up to 300 percent. We're now at 300%. I'm going to try 325.
this is 325% of the 60 millimeter per second increasing still looks fine still printing still no skipping so we'll bump up the 350 we're at 350 speed at the moment Let's go to the 400. It might be a bit too much, 400, but let's try it. All for the science. I'm gonna bump it up to 450. We're now at 450% speed. Let me try 500%, which is five times faster. Still no skipping, so let's try 550. Let's bump it up to 600. I'm going to try 700 right away. We're at seven times the speed and the print still looks fine to me. We'll have to do this print again because the print is almost finished. I'll choose. Whoa. The print is finished. Oh, it's pretty warm still. Well. As you can see, when we bumped up the speeds, these angles have gone really weird. And if you look at the, at the side of it, it still looks nice for the speeds. Yeah, here is some problem. Something went bad here, but still at 700 speed here on the stop went okay so guys it's gonna start from 700 speed let's see what that's gonna bring us like that seven times 60 millimeters per second i haven't changed the speed now it's still at 700 percent
Here we go. This is really fast for an Ender 3 S1, these speeds. You can almost compare it to a Bamboo, <laughs> Bamboo X1. And to be honest guys, I'm not sure if this is really healthy for your printer, so it might degrade your motors and wheels pretty fast. Uh, longevity hasn't been tested yet, but here we are just showing you guys what the speeds are gonna bring you. This is pretty fast, and now I'm going to bump it up to 800 right away. So we just want to see when it's going to skip. We're at 760, 770, 780. 790 800 I'm going to bump it up to 850 now We're at 850% of 60 millimeters. That's fine, nothing can stop us doing this test. So we're at 900%. I'm gonna bump it up to 1000%. That's like 10 times faster. We're at thousand percent of speed. And still no skipping, it's really amazing. The way that the filament is going in is really fast. I'll just let this finish so we can see and we can compare it to the one that I've started from uh, the lowest point to the highest point that I've reached with this machine. And guys, please note these speeds I'm reaching. I have also a water cooling sit set here. Um, the hot end is being cooled by a water cooling kit from Creality as well. So it might be different with uh, air cooling system. Stock air cooling might be completely different. It might start skipping because I've um skipping way before that i've reached this speeds
if I'm printing this on my bamboo it would be I think the standard speed would be around this speed but then again it would be pretty loud so this printer compared to the bamboo is really silent because of all the mods that I've done to it so the difference of it is this so I might have reached the limits of the printer that's it let's take it off and it looks pretty nice it's really hot but as you can see this is also the imperfection on the side here not enough cooling maybe with another cooling than the Noctua you might get a better result of it but this one was the one that we started increasing with and this one is the one that just been printed not really different you can see here and here and these sides even the imperfection here hasn't been done here and the other side this is the the one before and this is the last one that i've printed the layers are good enough for the speed except for here you can see there is some kind of a little bit of layer skipping and on the other one that's not hap that's not happening here you can see here the other one there's a little bit of uh, skipping or it's just the way it's been printed but reaching these speeds on an ender 3 s1 is amazing anyways guys thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it as i said hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future bye